Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. I'm Teresa Elling, and you might be wondering why I'm sitting on the floor in my bathroom. Today is going to be a declutter of my entire master bath. Now, while it is definitely my goal to keep up more on the day-to-day, week-to-week, still I find myself every once in a while where life has been too busy, I don't put things away where they belong, I don't have a space for something new, so it gets shoved in a drawer, and things just end up being pretty disorganized. So this was one of my goals for February. I almost made it. It's the beginning of March. And I will be launching into spring decor, um, including redoing a guest room. And I'm so excited because what I'm going to do is show you start to finish how to completely decorate a room. You won't want to miss that series, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's launch into decluttering. I'm going to empty under both of the sinks, as well as all of my drawers in my vanity and my medicine cabinet. And the first step is to remove absolutely everything out of the cabinet or drawer. And um, if I'm sitting on the floor, because that's just easy for, for me, but if that's difficult for you, set up a little temporary table, a card table, something like that. Put things on the table for sorting. It's very important that these spaces are labeled literally or at least in your mind that you know exactly what should go there and what shouldn't. So I know that on this side, I keep all of my refills for things. Refills of uh, Q-tips and cotton balls and soap and mouthwash. And so I know where it all goes. So I realized that I have three bags for travel. I have one in here um, that we use all the time. I keep it stocked and it's ready to go. All I have to do is grab it. I don't have to pack deodorant or a toothbrush. It's already in there. But I have a whole nother one that's empty. Another one that's actually full of different travel size things that I didn't even realize was in here. I can tell it's from a vacation that we took a couple of years ago. So I'm actually going to go through all of my travel stuff separately. I only need one bag for travel. So that means two of the three are going to need to go. I will pick my favorite. Once you've emptied your cabinet, make sure to wipe it out. Get it good and clean. It's your chance, maybe once a year. Something you might not think about are the sink pipes. They get dusty and also the hinges on the inside. I just wipe the hinges and they're very dusty. Not only am I going to remove every single item, I'm going to check all of the expiration dates on these and only keep what we use and what is not expired. Now of the things that are expired, I need to take note of what things do I want to keep stocked here and what things really can go and I don't need to repurchase new ones. Um, I do have a children's Benadryl, but I do not have any pain reliever. And I like to keep that on hand just in case of emergencies and um, it's all expired. So that means that I need to write that on my list to make sure that I purchase a new bottle. I want to point out again that each time you have a container, that's your boundary. So this is my uh, toiletries for travel. So there are a lot of the, the miniature things, the little tiny things that either can go in an airplane or just fit into a cosmetic bag. And um, once this is full, it needs to be full. That's all, I, all the room I have. And I need to go through and get rid of things. Um, obviously, most of this soap, toothpaste isn't going to expire but I don't need 20 things of miniature toothpaste when we get a couple twice a year from the dentist. <laughs> they seem to pile up quickly as well as floss. We just can't use it all, to be honest. I would suggest if you have unused toiletries, please donate them to a local homeless shelter. I have several half-used things of toothpaste, and because I have so many, I'm gonna go ahead and toss these and just keep a few of the unused ones. Also, if you're collecting shampoo that you would never use because it's not a brand you like, 
please get rid of it. Please donate it because just keeping it under your sink is not going to make you want to use it. Things that I'm absolutely sure I will use again, like travel tissue and even some extra luggage tags. These can be put in the drawer if it's labeled travel. Um, but meanwhile, I have so many mini hand sanitizers. Again, I don't know what to do with. I probably couldn't use all these in my lifetime. So I'm going to donate the unopened ones to a shelter and the rest I'm going to kind of just downsize and think of what I could uh, use in the foreseeable future and get rid of the rest. One of the main questions um, in general when you're decluttering is do I want freedom or choices? And I don't know that I could find the specific video this came from, but I know it came from The Minimal Mom. And I will link her channel below. I really enjoy it. But she talked about how each time, so for example, I found three extra combs here. I have a comb here. I have one in my travel thing. I don't need three more choices of hair combs. Now the thing is, if that was super important to me or I was a hairdresser and there was a specific need for each kind of comb, then I would say, I want those choices. I want those choices so much that it's worth it to have this space taken up. But if I'm trying to get free of clutter in my life and those combs are not really offering choices that are important to me, I want freedom more than I want choices in that area. So I'm going to get rid of those extra hair combs. I hope that makes sense. It really made sense to me, and I've been thinking about it in terms of so many things. Do I want choices here, or do I want freedom? And it's really helped me declutter more efficiently. A great hint for travel, I've had this little soapbox forever, but what is in it is those little um, tooth flosser picks, um, some Q-tips, band-aids, safety pin, a pair of nail clippers, thing of chapstick, an extra hair tie. These are just some little things that I often need and they're all in one spot in my travel kit in case I need them. Another thing that holds us up sometimes in decluttering is feeling that we can't get rid of something that is perfectly good and useful. So for example, this is an amazing travel bag. L&L Bean, great brand, um, opens up and hangs on a wall and has tons of storage space. So I already started doubting myself, like this is a really good bag, I, I should hang on to it. But I already chose my favorite and I don't need more than one. So if that is the case, it really, in this, I don't want choices here. I, I do want freedom, so I am gonna let this go. And the great thing is that I can donate this to a thrift store where someone who really has need of it can pick it up. Moving on to cabinet number two. Now the stuff under the sink was rather easy because these are things that we use all the time. They're refills to our um, products that we use day to day. But going through the drawers and the medicine cabinet, my daily use things, I have a feeling I'm going to find a lot more clutter, if you will. And that is due to a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, these are the questions you want to ask yourself. First of all, is it expired? That one's easy. Second, how long has it been since you've used this item? Now, a lot of times we will have stuff in here and we might even think, oh, I, I just use that or I do use that. But actually it has been a half full bottle for years. If you're really not sure about something, um, get a permanent marker and mark on the bottom of it the date that you last checked in. And the next time you go to declutter, if that item still hasn't been used, you know that you can toss it. A common question is, do you love it? Or does it spark joy? But the truth is, if you haven't used it in a year or two or three, you don't love it. Now here is the biggest problem that I see specifically in the bathroom, and that is we do not want to face the guilt of buying products that we didn't like or that didn't work for us. We would rather keep 
half full bottles of shampoo or a hairspray or makeup we used one time because we don't want to admit that we wasted money buying something that we don't like. The thing is, keeping it in your drawer or your medicine cabinet does not increase the value of it. Now it's just cluttering up your life. Get rid of it, be free. I tell you, it's trust me, it's gonna be amazing for you to get rid of the junk that not only you're not using, but it haunts you with guilt. Be brave and toss these items. like to use this gripper fabric if you will it's great for getting your containers to stay and not slip I also like putting a washcloth or a hand towel in the bottom of any drawer that has moisture so this is where we keep our toothbrushes and um, if I'm putting a wet toothbrush in there I want it to be able to sit on a towel and then it's really easy to just pull the washcloth out and replace it with a new one. I am going to be using some organizing containers in here to separate and compartmentalize. It's just easier to put things away, easier to find them. I love this set from Target. It comes in probably four different sizes, usually in a two, three, or four pack. They come in, I think, three or four colors. And I just have the white here. I also picked up these in the bathroom section. They are a shorter kind of opaque, um, harder plastic. I think these are actually going to be the best for my bathroom, but um, I'll see. I actually just used um, the white ones a while back when I organized my desk drawers and I really like them. So check those out at Target. They can be used for so many things in a kitchen, in an office, in a bathroom, but we'll give these a try and see what happens. I basically, it's like putting together a puzzle. I'm gonna kind of try to fit these in. On the top, I don't need very many of these. In my makeup drawer, I'm gonna fill the drawer with these. Once you're sure that these are the uh, containers that you're going to use, make sure that you take off the tag. It's, uh, the tags are kind of visual clutter and you really don't wanna see those. I've got one arrangement here that fits with a slight gap on the side and um, I'll start putting makeup back in and I'll see how it goes. If I need to rearrange it or I need to buy a different size container, then I can do that. I'm basically going to follow up with a part two, a deep clean and decorate with me in the bathroom. I'm going to do some yearly deep cleaning, maintenance, um, touching up paint, showing you how I use my plants in this space and other decor to just brighten it up a little bit. So watch for that video, but let's take a look at under the sink before. Here's what it looked like. And this is what it looks like after. Quite an improvement, things are labeled, and I went through every drawer. Now, under the other bathroom sink, here's the before shot. And here's what it looks like after. I got rid of quite a bit. I actually have a bag full of things to donate. I have a bag full of trash that needs to go. And here are some of the things that I no longer use. And I just couldn't part with because some of these are completely full or almost a curling iron size I have never used, maybe once, and then never again after that. And a ton of makeup and just, you know, things, I don't know, if you're like me and occasionally get sucked into some kind of thing that's gonna remove all the cellulite from your thighs, right? Um, of course it didn't work, even though it got amazing reviews. So it's going. I'm not going to feel guilty about any of these purchases. I'm going to move on and have a fresh start. Drawer number one, this is the before shot. And this is what it looks like now. Drawer number two before and after. 
drawer number three before and after and the fourth drawer before and after and I think I need to get some new bath toys for the grandkids. This is all I have in here. My medicine cabinet before. And this is what it looks like after. And I certainly got rid of a lot of clutter there. I hope that this was helpful for you. And I am going to follow it up with the other video that I told you about. So watch for that. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Have an awesome day.